In this video, I am going to discuss about social constitutionalism theory and its classroom implications. Social constitution is a variety of cognitive constructivism that believes in the sociological theory of knowledge according to which human development is socially situated and knowledge is constructed through interaction with others. It is a collaborative learning in nature. Every conversation provides opportunity for new knowledge construction. Social constructivism is best represented in the works of psychologist Robert Brock Cotten. Vygotsky explained language and culture play essential roles both in human intellectual development and in how humans perceive the world. He also remarked the social dimension of consciousness primary in time and in fact. Also, the individual dimension of consciousness is derivative and secondary. From this perspective, mental functioning of the individual is not simply derived from social interaction. Rather, the specific structure and process revealed by individuals can be traced to their interaction with others. Reis has proposed three major themes in Vygotsky's writing that elucidate the nature of this interdependence between individual and social process in learning and development. Vygotsky's Social Constructive Learning Theory this theory was Vygotsky's. He emphasized the role of language, culture in cognitive development and in how we perceive the world and claimed that they provide frameworks through which we experience, communicate and understand reality. He also said all cognitive functions originate in and must therefore be explained as a product of social interaction and that learning was not simply assimilation and accommodation of new knowledge for learners. It was a process by which learners were integrated into the knowledge community. As a cognist, he differs from the ideas of Piaget and Perry. He demonstrated the importance of language in learning by demonstrating that, in fact, communication is a prerequisite to the child's assequation of concept and language. But he suggests that people learn with meaning and personal significance in mind, not just through attention to the facts. He remarks in the words, I do not see the world simply in the colors and shapes, but also as a world with sense of meaning. I do not merely see something round and black with two hats. I see a clock. From this he want to make us clear language and the conceptual schemes that are transmitted by means of language or essential social phenomena for any learning process. Knowledge is not simply constructed, it is co-constructed with others. Vygotsky has given an important concept in for teaching learning process. Zone of proximal development. Vygotsky believed that learning takes place within the zone of proximal development. In this students can take the help from the adults or children who are more advanced mastering the concepts and ideas that they cannot understand on their own to understand the concepts. This model has two development levels, level of actual development and level of potential development. Level of actual development means a learner has already reached and they can be able to solve the problem independently. A level of potential development is a zone where learners is capable of reaching under the guidance of teachers or in collaboration with peers. This zone of proximal development is the level at which learning takes place. It comprises cognitive structures that are still in the process of maturing, but which can only mature under the guidance or in collaboration with others. What learners can do is given in the white circle. The learners can do with the guidance that is called zone of proximal development which is given in the black circle. What learners can not do even they got guidance from the elders or peers. To ensure the development in the zone of proximal development, the assistance or guidance received must have certain futures. As Vygotsky Rima, intersubjectivity, scaffolding and guided participants are the important concept which has to be needed to know about the social constructivism. Intersubjectivity means the process whereby two participants 
who begin to task with a different understanding arrive at a shared understanding. This creates a common ground for communication as each partner adjusts to the perspectives of the other. Scaffolding means adjusting the support offered during the teaching section to fit the child's current level of performance. This captures the form of teaching interaction that occurs as the individual work on tasks such as puzzles and academic assignments. Guided participation means a broader concept than scope folding that refers to shared endeavors between experts and less expert participants. Social constructivism learning theories have more educational implications in this learning classroom scenario. As we early marked out, it's a collaborative nature of learning. Reciprocal teaching, cooperative teaching, collaborative teaching, situated teaching and anchored instruction all can be used in the sense to provide a benefit to the students to understand the content. Students may consult the following reference for further studies. Thank you.